Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel Sport Ace World. Hey, you know what we do. We talk. We have discussions. We review things. Okay? We review topics. People. Entertainment. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is. Whatever the case may be. Okay? Something's trending as usual. There's always something to talk about in today's society today. Okay? It's trending on social media. All the formats where you got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all of that stuff, okay? But the topic, the hot topic, it's kind of spicy today. He's been in the headlines. He just won't leave, Lord. He won't leave, okay? It's discussion time. We definitely got to talk about this. This is a dose. This is a big dose of hot topic, okay? I think the brother done got down with Islam now. He got the Islam brothers protecting him. The top story for today on Deb Chanel's 40s World's channel is going to be none other than we call him the Pied Piper. Everybody know who he is, but the Atlanta Journal Constitution got their foot in it. Okay, yes, I'm a newspaper down here. Local news. We talking about in Atlanta, Georgia, where I reside, born and raised native here. Okay, Georgia Sweet Peach Southern Hospitality. Okay, Southern Hospitality at its best. Okay, now for the ones that come here because they don't live other states or other countries and they're not used to how we get down, they always talking about, oh, we're so mean, we so this, traffic is awful, uh, just too much negativity. They haven't met a true season or a true native of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, I reside in the Cater where it's greater, where everybody get down with the rappers and all of that. You know, T.I., Young Jeezy, uh, Young Jock, Scrappy, Love Hip Hop Atlanta, hey, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Should I go on? Could, could I keep going on and on and on? So much celebrities out here. NeNe Leaks, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo franchise, y'all know about it. Okay, Candy Boris. Oh, LG game. You got Todd Tucker coming from, uh, well, I don't know where he's from, New York or somewhere like that. But I'm saying, we're going to be talking about R. Kelly. I know we muted him, or y'all muted him. I'm still listening to the music, okay? Because I'm all about the music. I ain't about all this other stuff, about this, that, and the third going on. All these people want to clout chase. They want to get into the music industry. If you don't know, now you know. <clears throat> okay? Big up. Big smile. Try to tell y'all that. The entertainment business is a wicked wicked type of organization that you want to be a part in so when you see your kids trying to you know do this thing in the entertainment world please plead with them talk to them have them find jesus christ you know what i'm saying put the fear of god in them and maybe they would change their ways of wanting to uh, prostrate themselves or pretty much put themselves at an angle that the only thing they can see is fame fortune in hollywood okay I like to call it, uh, excuse me, Satan Wood or Holly Weird. Ain't nothing good about it, okay? They just, you get up in there, you try to do what you need to do. And it's just a hot mess. You come out worse off than you left, okay? Seeking that fame, fortune, that, ooh, I want to be in a fishbowl type of situation, okay? No, not going to happen, okay? But anyway, just to tell you. There's some bit of news on R. Kelly. His publicist came down here, and one of the uh, family members, the Savage family, pretty much got, I want to put hands on this man. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, he's just a messenger. He ain't the man that y'all trying to get down and put in jail along with Bill Cosby, you know what I'm saying? And I come to figure out, I, I heard somewhere, or I read somewhere, that Bill Cosby giving lectures on how to be a good person. And do the right thing <laughs> in jail. Okay, I'm like, Bill, just sit and do your time. Do not write any more books. Do not give any more lovely advice. Because if it was all that, you wouldn't be there, Bill. You were doing it all for the love of money, fame, fortune, and you thought you was on top. But again, hey, you had to be shown. Now you know you didn't know, but you know now, okay? As in the words of Big and Small. Now you know, okay? I just love Big and Small. He's just so poetic in his rapping. Him and Tupac. Whew, okay, but anyway, let's get on down to what the AJC, my home camp of a newspaper rag, had to bring out. Okay? The reporter was Ben Rush. 
or something like that. He's a, a journalist or a columnist for the Atlanta Journal Constitution. He wrote the piece on what is titled R. Kelly's Publicist Confronted by Atlanta Family of Alleged Victim. Okay? The family of an Atlanta woman, they believe is being held by the R&B singer R. Kelly, interrupted a press conference held by the singer's publicist in Midtown on Friday. Okay? The publicist, Daryl Johnson, was talking to reporters about the arrest of R. Kelly on federal charges of enticing a minor for sexual activity and child, excuse me, child pornography. All right. Kelly, who has owned multiple homes in North Fulton County. <coughs> if you don't know, now you know. It got, okay, North Fulton County down here in the south is a pretty well-kept plush type of upscale, shall I say, for 500 living, all right? He was out there with those uh, crooners, you know what I'm saying, trying to do the darn thing, set it up, how it is, get a community, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. That's where he was hanging out at. Now, for him not have no money running around him, what, what, he, he, our cat wasn't buying nothing. He was renting houses down here. And it said he had multiple. So I'm thinking three or more. <coughs> what kind of mess is that? Okay. His funding had to come deep. All right. Deep, deep, deep. And he made good music. He done made a lot of catalog of great music. But his pockets don't run that type of deep. Not the uh, charges they try to put on this brother. It's some more powerful people behind the scenes. And he's just a fall guy. And don't get me wrong. Do I think he did it? Of course. He likes sex. He likes younger women. Did we not catch him with Aaliyah? But nobody saw or heard or said anything about that little thing. That was like quietly hushed up. But again, this was like in the 90s. You know, people were just really trying to get famous and, and get put on by the industry so they could go out there and be showcased. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they got that pretty much straightened out, calmed it down, and it just went over our heads for those who heads weren't really woke at the time, okay? But it's not the first uh, barn rodeo this brother been partaking in, okay? They know him more so in Chicago where he been getting down up at when he was, you know, just coming out the scenes of being R. Kelly. He was just new on the scene and he was, you know, making his way through, you know, making good albums, excuse me, writing for other celebrity, celebrity type artists, uh, singers, musicians, all that. Very talented brother. Can't take that away from him. Can't take away the music. But we can try to discourage and take away the behavior he's been displaying, if and all, that it was inappropriate. And like I said, the time that he was messed with Aaliyah, you know he was over age. She was much younger. They did videos here and there. And, you know, Lil' Aaliyah was just really kind of hush mouth. But you can tell she was grooving that dude. You know what I'm saying? And we knew he was much older. All right. So just as my point of tenure, getting back to the article, we have Kelly who has owned multiple homes in North Fulton County. Like I said, he ain't own nothing. They just are uh, sprucing this little piece up to make him look better than what it, the situation is. Now, he leased. Okay. That's my, my uh, observation. Okay. My speculation. And usually I'm never wrong, okay? Because sometimes I do research behind the scenes. I just don't bring it out a lot on camera because I want y'all to be uh, well-versed in getting your own information, just not letting people tell you here and there. Go on and research it. Research it yourself. And then you formulate an opinion of your own off the record. Or you can get your YouTube channel and express it however you feel, okay? Your show, your time, you do you. All right, but moving on, it says, uh, is accused of running an operation to recruit girls and women for sex and control them. According to the indictment, the accusations date back to January of 1999. Okay, all right, moving on. For decades, <coughs> excuse me, for decades, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been accused of a slew of sex, of such sexual assault allegations, all of which he has denied. Who would admit to it? Okay, if you knew you were facing permanently lifetime in jail. Okay, and possibly, you know, the death penalty. I don't know what we got going on here. Because, you know, it had several infractions across probably the 52 states where he was doing concerts. Okay. 
And everybody was looking away of importance. You know what I'm saying? They knew what he was doing. They knew what he was doing. But it's time to reveal a lot of stuff that's done in the dark. Gonna surely come to light. All right? Who you think is straight ain't all straight when it's all said and done. Okay? So watch who you idolize. Watch who you put up on a pedestal. Because you might get the stuff thrown back in your face. Like egg face. You know what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with it. Okay, good. We're going back to the article. It says, uh, standing your 10th and Peachtree Street, Johnson has just started to talk about how Kelly was arrested Thursday while walking his dogs in Chicago. <laughs> walking his dog, probably smoking his cigar and just thinking everything lovely. Okay. Then they came and got him, you know, probably peered up beside him or uh, 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 accosted him from the back. Okay, cocaine, you got to come with us. What what they did with the dogs? Did they take the dogs in for questioning as well? Girl, I'm just, I'm, man, I'm just tripping over him, okay? All right, going back to the article, it says he was arrested. Nothing new, the same charges a decade ago, Johnson said, when he was interrupted by Timothy Savage, father 23, your old Jocelyn Savage, who's considered to be still in cahoots, still with R. Kelly, still in the same tumultuous relationship that the family uh, are trying to get her out of. Mm. Going back to the article that went in there, which is my pun intended, and that last part. It just stopped where it says, uh, Father 23 year old Jordan Savage. Okay. I don't want to hear all that, bro. T Timothy Savage said, Where's my daughter at? Where's my daughter? Is what he was trying to scream out to the crowd and anybody that would listen. But he was talking to the uh, publicist. Yes, he was. And the publicist was looking at him like, What? Man, you better get away from me. I'm held down by the brothers of Islam, okay? You better, you better uh, give, me, give me some room. Give me some maneuver room, okay? You're getting into my space. Okay, my delicate space. I need some feet away from you. Okay, you're entering in a sanctuary right here, and, and you, you're not. You're threatening me right now. You're threatening. <laughs> don't look like what his uh, his facial expression was saying. I like, please don't let that man howl off and hit, hit him in the head or in the face or whatever. Because then it's gonna be another story that I'm gonna have to cover. Okay, the beat down of the publicist of R. Kelly. <laughs> Okay, moving back to this article, it, it writes, I don't want to hear all that, bruh, Timothy Savage said. Where is my daughter at? R. Kelly is in there right now in jail. I want to know where my daughter is at. Where is she at? Answer that question. And of course, you know, I was looking at the news today and I was like, okay, uh, are you going to answer the man's question? Are you going to answer the man's question? He asked you directly, are you going to continue to ignore him? Look with blank faced um, facial expressions. What, what's going on? And then you had a, had a nerd have a coffee cup in your hand. Like, nah, brother, it's time for some wine or some beer. <laughs> we don't pass the coffee. And it ain't cold up in here. It's hot, 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 Okay. Ooh, that's why they call it hot Atlanta, sir. <coughs> okay, y'all know that wasn't in the article. Let me go on back. It says, Savage said he has not seen his daughter since December of 2016. She has spoken to media to assure everyone is okay and healthy. But the family doesn't believe that's true and thinks Kelly has brainwashed the former Georgia Gwinnett College student. I met your daughter six times, Johnson said. I've seen her in and out of Trump Towers. I haven't seen anything that I would say is suspicious or harmful to your daughter. Johnson said there has been some sort of uh, negotiations with the Savage family in the past, but those have broken down. Okay, these are grown women. I'm not in charge of them. I'm a crisis manager. I'm not a babysitter, Johnson said. Ah, my point intended right here. But if it was your daughter going crazy over R. Kelly, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Star-eyed, bright-eyed, bushy tail. You wouldn't have the same concern, Mr. Johnson? Please. Okay, I'm a Johnson. And we don't roll like that. We straight up. We shoot straight from the hip and we come out. Okay? Lock loaded and ready to spray. So, Mr. Johnson, sit down as uh. R. Kelly publicist, all right, because you, you fraudulent and you fake. You, you're just doing too much, all right. But that was my pun intended. Let me go back to the article. 
These charges are similar. Excuse me. These charges are similar. Those brought by Illinois prosecutors earlier this year. Federal prosecutors wrote in the indictment that Kelly and his entourage will allegedly find girls and women at concerts and keep in touch with them, managing much of their lives. Okay, the women and girls allegedly could not leave their room, go to the bathroom, or eat without permission of Kelly. Prosecutors said the women and girls were required to call him daddy. When they weren't with Kelly, the women and girls were ordered to wear baggy clothes and not look and not look other men in the eye, according to the indictment. <coughs> Similar allegations came to light in July 2017 when BuzzFeed published an article claiming that Kelly held the women against their will in a cult at a Johns Creek home. Now I'm gonna tell you, John Creek is very rich and Sam uh we call it famous. Celebrities are out there, uh, politicians, law, you know, very esteemed lawmakers, um, lawyers, doctors. You know, it's heavy hitters out there with some major money. So things could happen out there. <laughs> Let me just say, things could happen. But it's, uh, it's overlooked. Overlooked. Uh, let's go back to the article. It says, Timothy and Jocelyn or John Jilling. Savage held a press conference outside the home during which they said their daughter Jocelyn was beat by Kelly and part of the R. Kelly code. Okay, Jocelyn later released the video through TMZ saying she was in a happy place. More accusers of Kelly have come forward since the original report. Kelly has continued to deny all allegations. The parents said they haven't spoken with their daughter since a, since a three-minute phone call in March. When Jocelyn Savage, <laughs> excuse me, called them in their attorney's office, I've told you guys a million, million times that I'm okay. I'm very happy you know where I'm at, Jocelyn Savage said on the call, which the attorney posted on Twitter. Timothy Savage told reporters Friday that he hopes his recent arrest gives justice to his family and the others who believe the singer has manipulated their loved ones. This is like a living death for me and my family, he said. Like North Florida County News now. Okay, no. that Okay, they were just saying like the uh, article, I guess. But that was pretty much it of the article. It's a sad, sad state of events. But we all know cults are out there. Brainwashing techniques do work on uh, people that have a lesser tolerance for stuff. Well, let me just put it like that. That have low self-esteem. Okay, pretty much. They feel nobody's for them, so whoever's out there that's giving them the time, the attention, they're going to uh, more so group up with them and form an alliance, okay? They don't think for themselves. They just want people to tell them what to do. Just I'm like being in the military. You're pretty much brainwashed. You don't think for yourself. You don't react. You only do what you're told and do it to the letter or there's going to be consequences, okay? So it's not far fetch that a situation could be going on like this because R. Kelly definitely has never been with a woman that's been older than him or his same age, I should say. So that's, you know, you could, uh, how can I put it? You have, you could have to see both sides of it. Okay. But it is kind of strange that most uh, women that R. Kelly do mess with and are seen with are much younger people. Then, you know, like I said, you can't just leave R. Kelly out there to his own wits and devices. He got to have a, pers uh, a pursuing, well, he has a pursuing nature, but he has to have someone giving him the okay, meaning the participant that's trying to be in the same relationship or co activity. Like, if you're going to throw your children out there into the entertainment business or you think you got uh connections where you can get a hold to some of these entertainers and you don't think things are not gonna go on i mean come on we used to get on the rock band people like they do in and everything from the illicit drugs to the sex the prostitution to everything but everything is gravy when it's in the rock metal type community but now don't slip into other genres of music and entertainment now we're trying to act like it never existed it's always existed you know anything in the entertainment world whether you're an actor actress um musician uh singer a dancer 
you're introduced to a lot of craziness, okay? And it's several levels that continue to go upward and upward to reflect whether you're going to be trending with them and you're going to get more and more seen out in the public eye, okay? Because most people that's out here now in the entertainment industry, they can't sign. They can't sign with a two cent. But they have that likability and that facial recognition that the entertainment world gravitates to. And they will make you a star overnight. You ain't got to sing. You got auto tunes for that. You got lip syncing. You know what I'm saying? Just as long as you can carry somewhat of a little tune if need be. And you can maybe dance because they like all their entertainers. If you got a fat and plump like me, uh-uh, you got to lose some weight. We like who you are as far as... Uh, <laughs> your essence and that you truly can sing and all this and third. Well, we need you to lose that weight. We need to make you over. And that's what they do in society. They The leaders make these type of rules and regulations and if you want to be a part of that type of atmosphere, environment, that group of people, you're going to do what they're going to say, but you're not going to be the same person. Okay? Because they they serious when they say they're going to remake you over. Okay? And those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, hear me good. You don't go in the same way. I mean, you don't come out the same way you went in. Trust and believe that. Too many stories have been told. Too many people that I uh, kind of respect and admire. And when they're saying things like that, I, I, I have to believe them. Okay? I have to. All right? But that's all I had on this R. Keller story. I wish they just got to put him up there with Bill Cosby. Let this man serve his time. Give these family back their children because they are their children i don't care if the parent is 80 years old and they're 60 that's still your child you still want the best for them and you still want them to be safe and comfortable and happy and yes they do make sadly you know sadly more so than good choices they have to represent and make bad choices but hopefully some of the people that are making these bad choices they learn from them they improve and they um uh, forge your head and do better because they know better. Then you have the ones that just get stuck and they stay and they just pretty much disappear. Um, and that's a sad state of being, but that's just how society has gotten um, our individuals or our people. Uh, and I'm not just saying my race, but just all races. You know, they want you to be a certain way. They want you to think a certain way. And that's how society's uh, thumbing down a lot of things. What's what was good and seen as pure is bad now. What's bad is seen as good. So it's just your perspective, how you want to live, how you want to gauge, how you want your mentality uh, to be when you leave this world, and what you you want uh, your children and admirers of who you are, your essence. You want them to uh, kind of emulate you in a sense and be good and prosperous and, and forward-thinking individuals that make positive impacts um, in our world today. But, you no, know, when you got people hiding uh, lies and, and, and secrets for other people, you know, the rabbit hole goes real, real deep, okay? But like I said, <laughs> it's a true fact. Everything that's done in the dark, done in secret, it will come to light. It is going to come to light because that's just the way the world is set up. Okay, karma is a mother. You know what I'm saying? It may not hit you, but it directly, but it may hit you indirectly when it may concentrate on focusing on hurting someone that you love, you know, or you care about. So, all that I say, be good to one another. You know, stop all this uh, backbiting and, and bickering and, 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 and trying to upstage someone else so you can look better. You know, why we just can't forgive and forget? If somebody offended you or hurt at you, you know, it is all what it is. You know, not saying you have to deal with them, but don't hate them. Don't uh, talk bad about them to other people. You know, just everybody going to like who they like. You know, their perspectives are going to be totally different from what you may have experienced. So when you go around and say, well, you, you shouldn't like this person because they did this, that, that, then I fault the person that's listening because let them have eyes to see and let them have ears to hear what this person is saying about another person. And let them be the judge of, you know, whether they want to fool with them or not. I, I have very strong distaste for people like that. Because 
you know, it's like you're you, you're setting yourself up where you only want people to like you, and it's not fair that they gotta like somebody that you don't like. That's wrong. That's wrong on all levels. Okay. So if you're doing that type of uh, behavior with people around, just stop it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get better and treat each other better. And we can do better as a community, as a race, as a society. And that's all I got for y'all. Okay? I'm washing my clothes right now. And I'm kind of hyped because I got some sleep earlier <laughs> today. After I got off work, after I came from shopping from uh, the grocery store with my mom and trying you know, do some things so I could have a relaxed Saturday and Sunday. So, okay, I got to go out there and cut grass tomorrow, too. Woo! I'm hoping it will rain, but not rain, because, you know, it's just see what it is. We need to rain. It's, it's hot. But, I, I tell you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know sometimes, boy. But it is what it is. Hopefully, the story will unravel, get justice done, and people who are enabling Mr. Kelly can get prosecuted as well and everybody, all the whole gang just sit in jail together and, and uh, do their time because they did the crime. If Bill Cosby got to go, everybody else got to go too. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. If you get an infraction, you knew it was wrong and it's called for you to serve up and, and, and admit or not admit but you're going to jail anyway. As long as there's strong evidence that can connect you to the crime. Because, you know, sometimes you folks be just putting anybody in jail for a crime. You know, if it sounds right, it's told right, and it's feed it right, then it becomes a lie, but it becomes the truth. Okay? So, that's all I got, y'all. Be uh, Peace and blessings to you all and yours, and I'll see you next video. Thanks. Bye.